In Boyhood, we see one of cinema's great independent filmmakers, Richard Linklater, take a fantastic risk. Dedicated to following the same cast for 12 years, the film follows its protagonist, Mason Jr., from the age 6 to 18. Linklater takes a chance and he rolls the dice. Only to have them come up snake eyes. The film doesn't work. It's a bore. In Linklater's dedication to give us authenticity, he loses sight of the target, leaving things like plot and character motivation feeling like afterthoughts. Our main character, Mason Jr., is such a generic, directionless teenager, he becomes a bore to watch. Linklater's authenticity ends up coming across feeling like a photorealistic painting. Technically, it's very impressive, but it lacks depth. For three hours, we pretty much just watch stuff happen. The characters live their lives, events happen, there's drama, but little of it seems to be going anywhere. A lot of the events just seem to have, just seem to exist in a vacuum. Now, the film does have a few bright spots. Patricia Arquette and Ethan Hawke turn in great performances playing Mason's parents. And even though they, lack, they have the same problems with lack of clear motivation or direction as the rest of the film, at least when they're on screen, they can be really engaging to watch and you can actually get invested in what they're doing moment to moment. I was hoping for good things from Boyhood. It's rare to see a director take this kind of risk, but in the end, it just felt like a technical exercise. Can we film the same five people for 12 years? Yes, they can. I wish it was bringing more to the table than that. It's a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, and in the end, signifying nothing. At least Shakespeare knew to give his characters motivation and the luxury of a plot. Hey, uh, between you and me, film needed more Goku.